plays golf in this room? Anybody play golf? So if I said to you, let's go play golf, and by the way, I'm a terrible golfer. I never play. And truthfully, I only play like six, eight holes. I just go out for some fun a little bit with my wife and friends. And as we're walking along, I tell you that, but as we get up to the first hole, I say, you know, just to make it a little more interesting, why don't we bet a dime a hole? Just so there's something on the line. Now, most people are going to go, no problem. You're not going to go, you know, is he a shark? Is he setting me up? Ten cents a hole. How many holes are there? Eighteen holes. How much I got at risk? A buck eighty, right? Okay, not a big deal. And then I'm just about to get up there and hit the first ball, and I say, you know, just to make it a little more interesting, why don't we just double it each hole? So what would that be? First hole is ten cents, so the second hole is twenty cents, third hole would be forty cents, fourth hole is gonna be eighty cents, fifth hole is gonna be buck sixty, sixth hole is gonna be three twenty. Now stop. How many holes are there? Eighteen. So we're one-third the way through, and it's $3.20. So in your head, you say, well, what the f you know, so what might cost me, 10, 12, 15 bucks if I lose? No big deal. But if we continue the math, what happens? Let's take it out to nine holes and see what is nine holes. You get out to nine holes, and you go, wow, I wasn't expecting $25, but we're only halfway there. Go ahead, flip the balance. 11th, 12th. Now, look what happens here. We get to the 13th hole, four to nine dollars. We went from down here 25 bucks, four holes later, we're at 409. How do we go from 25 to 400 in four holes? Power of compounding. Watch what happens these last holes 14th hole, 15th hole, 16th, 17th, 18th hole, $13,107. Okay? So if you're a good golfer, this is what you'll go do next, next week when you get home, right? 